Hey, good morning, cry responders, friends, staff. Just uh, finishing up a morning workout with an awesome group of guys here down in Fort Mill, South Carolina. And uh, something just kind of hit my heart this morning. Just uh, a theme came up in this workout that, uh, you know, we're never finished, you know? And uh, it really, really st stood out to me in terms of who we are as cry responders, what we've all been through um, in the last year and a half, two years. Uh, I know all of us have been through so much, so many trials, situations, so many people I know through health situations, we've lost loved ones, COVID, um, you know, people have lost jobs. But really, you know, I was thinking about that movie, Lone Survivor, we're never out of the fight. You know, there's always another battle to fight. There's always another mountain to climb. And it's a real reality in our life that we're, we're never really finished. But when we have the mindset, it was just like this morning as we're working out. And if you've ever worked out before, you know, you do 20 push-ups, and you're like, oh my gosh, I can't do another one. And then, you know, they tell you to do sit-ups and then it's back to push-ups again, or, you know, burpees or whatever it is. And you're like, you're actually never finished. There's always another mountain to climb. There's, you can always push further. The, you can always dig deeper. And, uh, you know, I was thinking about where we are in our nation. And, uh, you know, we're at the tail end of COVID, but, you know, now we're on the brink of war in the Ukraine and financial uncertainty and you know, there's always going to be challenges. You can guarantee that there's going to be tornadoes this year and you can guarantee that there's going to be hurricanes in the fall and who knows what else is going to come. But I'll tell you what, when we quit, we die. When we're out of the fight, we die. When we say we're finished and we can't go on any further, that's when it gets bad. That's when it's not good. We're always in the fight. We're never finished. We're never finished till we get to the wedding supper of the lamb, which is gonna be amazing. Which brings me to my next point. And I'm gonna be talking about this probably at the watch this next week. Uh, we're gonna have uh, Corey Stark up this next week. Corey, amazing friend from IHOP KC. The prayer rooms built all the internships up there. He's gonna come speak on intimacy, urgency, and justice, works of justice. Guys, this is who we are. Our foundation is prayer, worship, intercession, the urgency of the hour that we live in. We understand the unique dynamics of the hour that we live in and how to respond with works of justice because we're never out of the fight. But uh, I was reading in Matthew 25, and Matthew 25 is, uh, and I challenge you, open up that chapter and, and just read the whole thing. And it's interesting that Jesus is telling three parables in Matthew 25. And he tells the parable of uh, the wise and foolish virgins, you know, the parable of the talents, and then he tells the parable of the sheep and the goats. And it's interesting because this is Jesus, and you gotta read it this way, this is Jesus speaking to believers. He's not speaking to unbelievers. And you need to read it that way. It's unrefutable proof that he's speaking to the church, to believers, to followers of his, to wise and foolish virgins. Guys, there's wise and foolish virgins right now among us. You know, God's given us all the ability to wait on him, hear from him, understand the hour that we're in, have oil, oil of the Holy Spirit in our lives to be able to see clearly the hour that we live in. The parable of the talents, parable of the talents, we've all been given resources, skills, giftings, resources, finances, and they were judged on how they used them and how they multiplied them in this life. And guys, this is, this is intense, but the one that hit it, that sat on it, that gave up, that didn't do anything, that had a harsh view of God, what did Jesus say to him? He was cast into utter darkness where there was weeping and gnashing of teeth. And uh, he called him a wicked servant. That's pretty intense. And the other ones, 
who multiplied what God had given them, they were given more authority and more spheres. And Jesus was really speaking about the millennial reign on how we're going to rule and reign with him over cities, over nations, how we're going to judge angels in the age to come. Pretty intense stuff. And then the sheep and the goats. The sheep and the goats, he's speaking to believers and he separates them based on how they treated the poor, how they reached those in prisons. And, you know, that speaks to works of mercy, works of justice, you know. And uh, so my encouragement to everybody this morning, and that chapter is really intense. And so if you read Matthew 25 and you start and you realize he's speaking to believers but look at the first couple of words in that chapter. It says, and then, that's how the whole chapter starts off. Meaning, it's a continuation of Matthew 24, which we talk about a lot. And Matthew 24 talks about all of the unique dynamics that are happening upon planet Earth in the generation of the Lord's return. And that's speaking of birth pangs, wars, rumors of wars, earthquakes, famines, pestilences. And so my encouragement to all of you out there today, if you're out of the fight, get back into the fight, get engaged, get engaged. You know, it's even like with working out, uh, you know, with working out, if you've ever been there before, maybe you used to run or maybe you used to do an extra cl exercise class. Once you get out of your routine of eating well, taking care of your body, it's so hard to get back in it. And I don't know who it, who it is out there, but I, I feel like I'm speaking to some today. Maybe you're out of the fight. Maybe you haven't responded in a while. Maybe you haven't engaged. Maybe you're not in fellowship and you're just out of your rhythm from COVID. Get back into the fight again. Re-engage in life. Re-engage with the people around you. Re-engage in ministry. Maybe you haven't prayed for anybody recently or shared the gospel. It's time to re-engage the fight. And I'm telling you guys, the stuff that's coming, we may have a moment of reprieve right now where it feels like, ah, maybe things will get back to normal. Guys, it's not about things getting back to normal. It's about having the fire of the Holy Spirit in us, moving through us, on fire for Jesus, all in, all the time. And that brings me to the last thing I want to tell you guys. And uh, uh, we're supposed to, I had said to you guys in the last video that we we're going to launch Q2 of Trailblazers and uh today and uh we're not quite ready for that we're putting some finishing touches just confirming some speakers guys wait till you see this quarter that we have lined up and i'm telling you q2 we're taking advantage of the warm weather all of the attributes of the camp we're going to be taking some trips but we're going to be talking um you know some of the content in this dangerous destinations we got incredible speakers coming for this um, you know, navigating your narrative, getting in tune with your original design and your narrative for uh, that God has for you personally in your life, getting in tune with that, getting on the, getting uh, lined up with God's plans for you. We're going to be doing uh, Thriving in Perilous Times, a Places of Refuge uh, training. We're going to have Chuck Reber back and a, a new speaker, Michael uh, uh, Fickus. Uh, he's part of Morningstar. He's written probably about a dozen books uh, about uh, places of refuge and different things and it's going to be absolutely wonderful we're going to caravan we're going to go out to the send and then we got operation durango tango and uh, a group of us are going to split off from the send we're going to drive through the night we're going to go out to durango colorado moab utah mountain bike whitewater rafting we're going to spend a couple days on a houseboat and then we're going to go minister out on the indian reservations it's going to be incredible time real limited number i think we're limited to 10 on that trip in terms of what we can do and then we're going to come back to the camp we're going to do sar tech training wilderness medical we're going to do week in the wild and we're going to do a huge boot camp as well so we got a great quarter in store so i'm telling you if you feel like you want to go all in all the time or you know somebody that wants to be all in all the time looking for their mission looking for their purpose looking to be part of a community of people who are living all in on mission going for it reaching people in the harvest and crisis this trailblazer is going to be amazing but for the rest of you out there, I just want to encourage you, man, just in, just engage, engage, take the next step and do the next thing that God's got in front of you and uh, things will go well for you. So that's my encouragement for you today. God bless you guys. We'll talk to you soon. 
and uh, hopefully we'll see you in Q2 up at the camp or next week, uh, Corey Stark. And the week after that is uh, Justin Perry as well from uh, Morningstar. Good friend Ken Dem uh, Demenedictus will be joining us as well. That is uh, going to be about the victorious end time church. Guys, I'm telling you, it's going to be equipping that uh, you really need in your life. How to be rock steady and thriving uh, in the midst of what's coming upon the earth because it's going to be intense. But we're going to overcome and it's going to be really good. God bless you guys. Have a great, great weekend.